אריק זאבי, שלום. אהלן. ולקאם טו קלצ'ר באז. אריק, דה מן ודה מיף. אוקיי. אז מה אנחנו נתחיל? נתחיל עם דה מן. אריק, לא רק שאתה אחד מהטובות הג'ודוקאס שישראל הייתה עבר פרודיוסט, אתה הפך בשנות השנים a role model, an iconic figure, and you are on your way to another Olympics, and you are so decorated with medals on world level, on European level, on Olympic level. How do you keep this drive going? <laughs> you asked a big question. I think... No, after Beijing, after I lost in Beijing, everybody told me you have to quit, you have to retire. But I told them an athlete should retire only when two things happen. When he doesn't want it anymore, when he feels inside that he doesn't want to keep with the long training, with the hard training. And the second thing is he understands that he couldn't bring a medal anymore. And after Beijing, even though I lost, I thought that I'm still one of the best judo players in my category. And I really wanted to prove all the journalists and all the people that I'm still... still good, you know, because I lost in one competition, even though it's Olympic Games, it's only one competition, it doesn't mean that I'm not good enough, and I'm happy to say, four years after, everybody knows that I'm one of the best, I hope uh, London will end, you know, in a nice way. <laughs> Arik, it's no secret to those who have followed your wonderful career throughout the years, that you come from what we fondly describe as a tough neighborhood. Did this contribute to you choosing judo, preferring it over football or I don't know? Uh, not really, even though it was a, you know, a poor neighborhood. Uh, the thing was, I chose judo. I don't think I chose, chose judo. Judo chose me, I think. But because near my house there was only three sports that I could do. It was tennis, but it was really amateur. Judo and boxing, that's it. There was no football team, no basketball team. So, and the coach, the judo coach was one of my neighbors. And my older brothers started judo before me. So it was really naturally for me to, you know, to follow them and start judo. And since I understood that I'm good at that, I continued. But it's not that I went to football, basketball and said, okay, I will do judo. It's just, you know, I think most of the kids are starting with the sports and then when they realize they are good, I continue. I watched an interview you gave recently to the Israeli sport channel yeah. and maybe this is the right time to mention that you have become in addition uh, to being a wonderful interviewee <laughs> a wonderful interviewer yeah, thank you it, so, was, it wasn't my first time I <laughs> four years ago I did a, I was the host of a TV show called sport TV And so I had an experience in that. I did it for two years, and now uh, the sports channel before London asked me to do it again. And it's a wonderful opportunity because I really understand in sports and I really like to interview uh, young athletes, people who not all the people in Israel know them because you know in Israel they are focusing only in football and basketball, and only before the Olympic Games, you know they start to hear about the other athletes. So I. I hope to continue with that after, after London. We'll see. And as if you are not busy enough, <laughs> you are a lawyer. Not exactly. I, finish, I graduate law school, but I have to do the, the internship. The, the bar exam. Oh, ah, the, okay. okay. the bar exam, but the internship. I have to do yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, in a good office. Yeah, in a good office, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> What can we wish you on your way to London? In addition to the usual... Uh, I think uh, the most important thing for me is to finish the competition and uh, to be proud of myself that I did my best. Most of the time when I'm doing my best, I'm finishing with a medal. But I can tell you that even if I will finish without a medal, but I will feel that I did my best and I'm not worthy for a medal in this competition, I will be happy with my performance. But I think uh, you have captured... I may be wrong, but I think I'm right. You have captured the way the Israeli public uh, views you now, at this stage of your career. No matter 
what you accomplish in London. We are already so proud of you. Thank you very much. So, Arik, תודה רבה. Good luck. Shalom, shalom.